everyone, my name is Sempaternity, and this is actually not an update video, uh, as which might surprise you because this is my update video background pick. Um, this is actually the sort of real intro to episode 9 of Dave the Diver. Now, in the intro, I do apologize for not recording the previous episode. Let me explain. I thought that I didn't record the previous episode because it cut off at the end, so when I exited the game I saw that the record button was not on. So I assumed that I did not press the record button. So ignore my apologies, episode 8 will be up by this time, by the time you see episode 9 of course. So this is just to avoid any confusion, I obviously did record episode 8, I just didn't think I did. Um, at the time of recording the beginning of episode 9, so my apologies for the apologies and the misunderstanding. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Hi everyone, my name is Sempaternity, and, uh, I, uh, I want to apologize because I recorded the last episode, uh, or I recorded the last episode, I played the last episode, I... No, 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 no. Okay, restart. And... Now. Hi, everyone. My name is Sempaternity. No. And... Now. Hi, everyone. My name is Sempaternity. And I would like to apologize, because I, you know, I played the last episode... I did the whole shark party thing, the shark storm party, which I had a really hard time saying throughout the episode. And I even beat a boss. Uh, I will go into the game and show you that now. <laughs> um. Yeah, I beat this boss. Um, Great White Shark Klaus. I kept calling him Klaus because I wasn't sure if it was Klaus or Klaus. Whatever. Um, either way, regardless, I beat him. This old lady came up to us and she was like, Hey, I want to find and kill this shark. He killed my husband. So we found Klaus House, we had to fight him. The old lady came through in the last minute, killed him for us. She's awesome, she's badass. Uh, I didn't do any story. It was mo like pretty much all shark storm party stuff. And then I ended the episode and realized I did not hit record. So, I am apologize, you guys haven't seen that. Um, yeah, you haven't seen, haven't seen this yet. Haven't seen, you won't see it at all in my playthrough, unfortunately, I'm so sorry. Um, actually, what can we upgrade on iDiver? Nothing I want to. We don't need to go to 540 meters right now. Um, so I, I very much apologize. And, uh, I'm going to make sure from now on that I hit record every time before I start playing this freaking game. Um, hold on one minute, guys. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Just looking into some stuff. Maybe I should train her. We'll need her for later. Ok, 
Okay. Now we'll, we'll need her for later. Hi, Momo. Hello, Momo's kitten. We'll feed you. So cute. Okay. Let's see how the farm's doing. Okay, everything's harvested. I still am so mad at myself for not recording all of that. I'm glad that I didn't do any story. Yeah, I'm glad I, I didn't do any story because that would have sucked to have you guys miss any of the story. So it does suck that you guys missed the shark party and all of that, but we didn't see too many new sharks yet, so it's it's okay, it's fine. Like we can just do the story, get on with it, and make sure it doesn't happen again. Thanks to you, Dave, I'm able to open the restaurant again. It looks good. I don't want to call this repayment of debt, but I was thinking of making food that humans can eat. Really, Mima? Hey, I'm a better cook than any other sea person. German food will surprise even humans. I mean, I do need to experiment. I'll tell you when it's ready. Look forward to it. Now we gotta go to Tenzin. up there on the cliff. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? It seems the villagers Seem to trust you, seem to trust you quite a lot. I like I first like to thank you for everything you've done for our village. It seems everyone's friendlier than I thought. I don't trust you fully just yet, but we could use all the help we could get right now. Let me explain to you about this village a bit. Did you see the tree at the center of the village? Yes, it was huge and covered in ice. Yes, we call it the divine tree. We use the fruits of this tree as an energy source. The tree has its roots far below the bottom, using the geothermal heat to create energy. Because the fruits are created for this energy, there's a giant glacier under this tree, that is, under our village. Glacier on the sea bottom? I've never heard of such a thing. But as of late, the heat coming from deep in the earth has grown hotter, melting the ice slowly. As the temperature of the tree increases, more and more villagers are falling ill. We keep praying to King Long, but we know things aren't so simple as that. We need to check on the glacier below the surface. Because we've relied on only agriculture for so long, we don't have the equipment or the technology to explore down there, very seen as it is. That's why I told you we need the human's help. I must admit that it is now our only option, my daughter. In any case, I know it's a difficult task, but will you check out the glacier area below the village for us? That sounds very dangerous, but alright. There have been more tremors on the surface as well. I think all this might be connected somehow. Thank you. We'll be sure to recompense you somehow. Now then, you'll need the key down to the glacier pass the glacial passage. The key... Where is the key? Tenzin, when we seal the glacial passage, we put the key inside the abandoned cave, remember? Oh dear, you're right. I sense something is not right again. Human, please go and get the key to the glacial, glacial passage from the abandoned cave. Tuan will take you there. It's not dangerous, is it? Nothing has happened there for the last century. No one's ventured there in a hundred years. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Anyway, we need to find out what's going on in the glacier, glacier zone before it's too late. It's getting late, so come back tomorrow when the sun is up. So I'm gonna guide you on this path. 
Okay. Must be the outsider. May Keen Long's pr protection be with you. Mm. Hello, what is this place? This is where we commemorate Keen Long. It is also where we store records of our history. Mm. Ah, I heard from Tenzin that you're helping out in the village. Mm. Yes, well, that's how it is for now. Mm. In that case, there's something I'd like your help with. Mm. There is to be a wedding soon here in the village. Mm. A recent earthquake destroyed the stone slate we need for the wedding. How for the wedding, however, mm. I should have been more careful about storing it. Mm. That sounds like a big deal, but how can I help you with something like that? In the days when we see people roam the seas freely, we left some records in human waters. Oh, he must be talking about the Sea People Record Chamber. There should be a stone slate in one of those places for certain. Please do help me out, human. There's a song for the wedding, right? I guess I'll go to the Sea People Record Chamber first. Alright, I'll try and bring back the slab. Would you do that for me? I'm truly grateful, human. May the blessing of King Long go with you. So we can still do what favors around the village to like help out and shit. And um to earn money for from um, like steep money from people. So that's a thing. Turns out we will need to do this. Okay, we're at max level. We have reached the max level. Okay. Oh, that's right. I also made the red sniper rifle. And then I upgraded it to the red sniper rifle to the super the super rifle, the super sniper. So um I did that. So, you know, that's nice. Let's just dive and see what we can find. Seahorse. And shrimp. Urchin. I need to see how much urchin sushi we have available at the restaurant, because that might be upgradable.
we're also going to night dive more. Because night diving is a thing. Well, I didn't aim in time. That time I did. Get all the night fish. We have like three more to to discover and catch. the sniper rifle, but as of right now it is not as strong as this one. Oh, tiger shark. Why not? like more types of sharks are gonna show up because like usually they show up during the shark storm party but they really didn't this time wait why are there so many fish because it's an open cave. And it's in the ocean. Of course there'd be fish. This appears to be the slab. I should take it to the shrine and see the village. Sass Barracuda. Not close enough at all. Jeez, I hate 
that mini game. I keep forgetting that these harpoon tips have mini games. Assemble it for the parts. Hello, cone jelly. Cone jelly. How are you doing? I do need that. Loki, you want to see if there's anything in here? This is the, uh, Sea People guard post, I think. Why not? Not really, there's like a Nautilus and a Peony in here. Gotta get a giant, giant, uh, spider crab. They look so creepy when they die. They genuinely look like dead spiders. I don't like them. Stargazer, we're gonna get that. Lightning harpoon tip, level three. Yep, let's do it. Nah. Got a cookie cutter shark, that's nice. And is that opal? Is it I don't remember. I, I just I don't. Just for curiosity's sake. Opal ore, yeah. Is opal an ore? I don't know. I don't know shit, man. Don't judge me.
low-key want to get a uh, Mega Mouth Shark, guys. So I'm probably gonna go on the hunt for one of them. And why not? Let's get some... Let's get some Opal Ore again. Oh, nice. We finally have a skull. Oh, hey! It's the dude and his, his uh, turtle, Donna. Isn't that the seaweed collector? I'm not gonna try saying that name. And his pet leatherback sea turtle? What was his name again? Donna. That's right, it was Donna, wasn't it? The giant leatherback sea turtle of the deep sea. What a wonderful sight. Let's take a picture to commemorate it. Ah, he's of the sea people. He of the sea people shouldn't be in the picture. I'll have to keep him out of the shot. Uh huh, sweet. I didn't even notice the optional goal, honestly. So cute. are a new addition to the game since I last played uh, my, own, my own game. So... So, um... I have no idea. Like, those are new to me. Goodbye, Twelve of the Sea. carry capacity anymore. Or no carry anymore capacity, I mean. But... Man, that is slow diving. Slow swimming. Alright. Oh, sorry for the mic bump there, guys. Oh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see? Wow, a leatherback turtle. Did you know that its back is actual leather? That's why it can't hide its head inside its own shell. How sad. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Put a spots all over the place, yep. Okay. 
There's still something new there, but that's fine. It's whatever. Okay. Eco poison resist bracelet. Nice. What is new? Okay. What do we have? Equipped? That's not where you check that. Okay. Should be fine. Should be fine. Worst comes to worst, we die, right? I wonder if we can find... There's another squid down here. I know... I think it's... Humble, maybe? Oh, spear squid. like the um the mini game that you get with the uh claim harpoon tips. If I remember right, you just have to press two buttons. And it's like a pain in the ass. Blackfin Barracuda. our weight limit, so should be fine. More spear squid. Why not? Let's catch. Hold on. I want to see something. No, not over there. Not over here. A hush dart. Nah, I think we're fine. Barracuda, tiger shark sauce. I don't want that. And we can't go down to the depths like this, like at night. I mean, 
At least we couldn't last time I played a game, so... More black pen. More iron ore and a long nose saw shark. Yeah, we had a problem in the episode that never was with finding iron ore for a certain gun. We wanted to find iron for the sniper rifle and couldn't couldn't do it. I had to look up where to find it. Hi, kitty. Oh, really? Oh, really? I don't know if you guys can hear her. I doubt you can, but... Hi, hun. Okay. Oxygen. Hi, baby girl. Oh, dear. My cat is sabotaging me at every turn. She's she's uh trying to sit on my lap, trying to sit on my computer. She's distracting me. I swear she wants me dead. <laughs> I'm kidding. I kind of want the copper shark. But I don't know where oxygen is. Oh dear. Give me oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. You know what? We have 70 kilos on us. Let's just go to the boat. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> he once again did not pay attention to... Uh... To what eggs I got. Ooh, another VIP! Sammy the Rap Star. Huh. Didn't the manager say he saw someone who looked like Otto around here? Yeah. Hey chef, may I ask you something? Welcome to Sponsor Sushi. Yeah. You guys sell vegetable sushi here by chance? Mm. Vegetable sushi? Mm -hmm. Um, we don't have that on the menu. Noramaki sushi is the closest thing to that though. Mm. Not Noramaki sushi, I want sushi made with fresh veggies. Yeah. Well, it's okay then. I'll get going. Have a good one. He's chill. A pep tuna. A pep tuna. Wait, this Hapep music. Tuna. It's Hot Pepper Tuna. The title song for my first tuna. album. Hapep this tuna. kind of music intrigues me. It must be MC Sammy, I presume. Yeah. You recognize me? I'm pleased to see one of my fans here. Could you perhaps make me some vegetable sushi then? We do have some vegetables, but vegetable sushi is not that simple. Give me three days and I'll serve you some proper vegetable sushi. Nice, yo. <laughs> I will come back in three days then. I can't wait. Bancho, you got any good ideas? <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, he's just honest about it. 
Then what is your plan? Otto knows more about vegetables than I do. I was going to ask him. Ah, that makes sense. I'll give him a call. Hello, Dave. What's up? Oh, one of our customers asked us to make some vegetable sushi, I mean, and we need to secure the ingredients for it. Uh, vegetable sushi? That's one of my favorites. <laughs> that customer knows what's what. Uh, Give me some time. I will have to work through the night. Uh, I'll call you tomorrow morning. Uh, nice. I'll visit your place in the morning. Okay. Want this. We also want this, but that's not a right now thing. Let's upgrade that. <sighs> I always get a little quiet. Or I feel like I get a little quiet this time of this time of the game. I'm just like so focused on. I'm still working on how to how to like oh my god my door is open I don't know if you guys can hear everything going on up on the the main area with my roommates but drive me nuts personally I am um, I'm still working on talking through everything. Uh, like talking through my gameplay, talking while I'm gaming, that kind of stuff. Because admittedly, I'm a little bad at it. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm, I just get so caught up in the gameplay that sometimes I go silent. Phew, I should call it a day. It's been a long road becoming a great master. Hi, Duff. What is this? I forgot what this was. <sighs> What's happening now? I don't. I don't like it. It's like a mini game thing. A live stage begins in Duff's stream. When the high icon reaches the cursor, press the. I'll press the triggers. Okay. Use. Uh, left and right to move your hand up and down and hit the green note. When an orange note appears, shake it left and right for a loud applause. Now it's time for some cheering. I really wish. It Can we skip this?
Yeah, I feel like I did absolute crap with that. Clear. Did you play enough? Mm, yeah, I, I did. I'm done. game called Leah's Run is now available. You can play the game from your phone's game factory. I never play the mini games on my phone willingly. That's just not a thing I do. I got I got story to pursue. I got shit to do. By the way, Tenton asked me to bring him the glacier passage key. I must return to the elder's place in the sea village. You get yourself some sleep, Dave? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, Yesterday you said you needed ingredients for vegetable sushi, right? Sushi. Yeah, some customers were looking for that. But I think sushi tastes best when made from fish. <laughs> Come on over to, to the farm first. I got something to show you. Mm. Oh, there's a new space. <laughs> That's right, just growing rice would be boring now, wouldn't it? I tinkered around yesterday and made a garden next to it. A garden? You betcha. A place where you can grow vegetables and fruits. Not just for vegetable sushi, but for all sorts of stuff or dishes. Oh, sounds great. Now, since you'll have to manage the farms yourself, I'll give you an explanation. Listen up. First of all, I'll give you some tools and seeds you'll need to farm with. Take them. Hold on. I cannot weed the rice right now. Now try planting the eggplant and carrot seeds I gave, gave you in the soil. There's three bundles in each. You can fill up one row with two packs. After planting, don't forget to use the watering can to water them. You get all that? Alright, let's go to the spring. And water the plants. Well, you learn quick. I knew you'd make a great farmer. What you get back from the crops is equal to the work put in. So stop by often to pull the weeds and water the plants. Um, yeah. I, for some reason, thought he said something else. I don't know. Uh, the status of the crops can be checked in the Farm Now app, so don't forget to take care of them. Got it. With these, I can prepare the ingredients for vegetable sushi. to expand it. Oh, that's expanding the rice patty, though. Slightly expand the rice patty after the next harvest. Okay. Let's get some cherry tomato, some onion seed, some wheat seed. Oh, we can just purchase beet, like the stuff too. Some garlic seed. Stuff. All right. 
giant. Yeah, I don't know how I blew through all my money, but I did. So, yeah. Let's send some of these to the kitchen. We have a lot of peony. We have quite a few buffed jellyfish. Some long time porcupine fish. Alright. Now let's go to the boat. Party, yeah, yeah, yeah. The rice paddy and the field. Okay. The fuck was that? Do you guys hear that? It's like a big old clamber. Let's do it. I am ugh, not looking forward to this. and see people storage. The glacier, pa the glacier passage key is in that place. Suon will guide you. Godspeed. Oh, I thought you fled, human. Suon, the best warrior of the sea people, will guide you to the place. Follow me. Fucking Suon, what a dick. Hi, honey bunny. I kinda wish I had a cat cam. She's so cute. Here, human, go bring me the glacier passage key. Mm. So dreary and dark. Why is this place locked anyway? Oh. Hmm, I'm not sure. I heard stories about some crazy sea people locked up somewhere, though. Oh. Heard the insane ones attacked other sea people. Oh. But that was like th a thousand years ago. Sea people only live about 300 years, so don't worry. Okay. I'm nervous. Are you coming with oh. me? I'm the best warrior of my people. You want me to do such a mundane task? Oh. I will stay here and protect the area. Hurry up and bring me the key. Mm. I knew you wouldn't go in. It's hidden in one of the darkest, deepest areas. Look for a room with a mural. Let me know when you are ready, human. <sighs> Let's do it. Are you ready to enter? Okay. Yep. Mm. It's cold. Mm. The key should be deeper inside. A room with a mural, if I remember correctly. Find Glacier Passage Key. Nope, that's locked. We saw something moving down there. Oh no. What a 
a cute sea bream. It must have come through that small crack. Holy shit. What the fuck is happening outside? Holy cow, what is that? The ancient sea people Suon talked about? They are still alive? It's, unfor it's fortunate they are still locked in cells. I should not draw their attention. Yeah, they devoured a sea bream. Oh. I don't want to know what they'd do to us. There it is. This must be the room Suom talked about, where the mural is. But where's the key? The picture seems to imply something. Corrected it a bit. Don't knock it down now. This must be the sea the glacier passage. Okay. What a creepy place. I better better pick up the key and quickly leave. At last, playing that artifact hunting adventure game pays off. Uh, funny. The movie was not that great though. Shall I return to the Sea People village now? Wait, was that a dig at the uncharted? franchise in the movie? Oh no. Oh my. Oh no, another earthquake? I heard something crumbling. Uh oh. Deliver the key to Tenzin. It is blocked, and now the sea monsters have come out. I must avoid them without getting caught. Gadon is the name of ancient sea people who have mutated for some reason. No guns or knives can kill them. Escape the cave without being spotted. Do this. Oh, no. Damn it. Well, we're dead. Okay. I misunderstood. I saw something wrong. Are you getting off my lap, baby? Okay. I thought there was a passage, like, straight across. Not that I needed to just swim up past him. Okay, that's blocked. Which is good, because there's a, a gadon there. I don't think I can pass here. What if I hide behind the stone statue over there? I will go unnoticed. 
Hide behind a stone statue to avoid being seen by the dawn. Use the stone statue and you're in danger. stressful. Dave, run! God, the Gadong are so the Gadon are so freaking scary, man. Good fuck. I knew Soam was not going to wait for me. Anyway, I got the key. Now I must return to. Oh no. this motherfucker again. Wait, you're robbing graves now? As if destroying the environment was not enough. This, that is the sea people's be quiet. Whoever harms the grave the sea will have to contend with sea blue. And the wrath of I, John Watson. Feel my eco-friendly sea blue armor RX-93 and its power. You are an environmental disaster. You're gonna pay now. Hello, John Watson. No amount of words can save that thick skulled moron. That suit looks pretty tough. No bullets will penetrate it. My armor can't negate the firepower of my hyper blaster. That was a nice trick, but this will end now. the charge attack. Fire another bomb. Fire another bomb. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Grapple attack. Charge attack. Oh, a baseball bat. That will help. The missiles are slowing down. If only I could direct it at him. Is there anything that can deflect the missiles? Dumbass. 
with it. Oh, huh. that was close. Come on, this way, this way, this way. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Want them blow up on him? That'd be nice. Woo. That was close. Come on, this way, this way, this way. I was expecting X again. Fuck. This fight is so stressful. It's such a, it's a, it's a bit of a gimmick fight. another missile. Don't charge at me, throw another missile. Don't do the grappling hook thing, throw another missile. Oh fuck. Okay. Pretty good at dodging those. It's the missile shit that I keep fucking up. this fight. This way, this way, this way, this way. Come on, blow up, blow up on him, blow up on him. And don't think it hit him. Thank you. 
I'm gonna try and direct that at him. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm running out of oxygen. I'm gonna die. Too far away. I have 22 oxygen. I now have 20 oxygen. I don't think I'll be able to do this. Not this time around. My eco-friendly sea blue armor RX-93 is... I can't forgive you for destroying nature. Watching you. I feel like I'm gonna die. You are tenacious. He was wearing high-tech diving gear. Should I bring it to Cobra? He may find useful parts out of this. <sighs> so nice that they give you a little extra oxygen when you're low after a boss fight. So nice. Sorry, you guys can probably hear my roommates talking all the time. Right now, I see a bunch of complex mechanical parts. I should go pick up some samples. It's time to deliver the glacial passage key to Tenzin. Oh, you actually brought me the Glacier Passage key? So I'm told me that you cleared the area and the key is free to pick up. But I guess it took you some time. I almost got eaten by nasty sea monsters. Are you telling me you've seen the Dons? Are they still alive? The Dons? This is the dark history of the sea people. You want to hear it? I have a short version and a long version. Which one would you like to hear? Let's do the short one. The long one. Good. I'm going to tell you the story of the Gadons. Okay. About 800 years ago, the Gadons were at the pinnacle of their civilization. Our ancestors had many devices far more technologically advanced than that of humans in the old days. These advanced technologies allowed them to live in peace and prosperity. It was all possible due to the divine tree fruits. Those fruits provided the perfect balance of temperature and energy, and they lasted so long. Sorry guys, the noise outside my room. Jeez. Ugh. The fruits could only grow in the deep sea were that could only grow in the deep sea were like a blessing to our ancestors. However. There were always those who were blinded by greed. Dashi? Dashi? Dashi, one of the senior technicians, wanted to apply the powers of the fruits beyond mundane purposes. He processed the fruits, the fruits secretly and used them to modify the anatomy of the sea people. He modified the bodies of your ancestors? Yes, it all went well in the beginning. Modified individuals exhibited strength far exceeding that of ordinary sea people. But Dashi was not satisfied with modi mod modifying the fruits. He wanted to go further. He wanted to extract energy directly from the divine tree. So he began to infuse the extracted energy into an ancient creature called the Yawi. Mm. Well, I don't understand everything, but it definitely sounds dangerous. Did Keen Long know about that? Mm. At the time, Keen Long was busy with the task of building the control room to ensure a steady supply of resources for the tree. Mm. He was puzzled at the increased performance of the workers, but he had no clue what was going on. Mm. Then one day... 
The bodies of those infused with the energy of the tree began to exhibit weird changes. Their body turned pale and their limbs twisted. They became so violent they began to attack other sea people. So they are the monsters I encountered earlier. Fortunately for us, the mutated ones hate light, so they don't come near the village. King Long himself went into the control room, captured the Gadons, and locked them up in the abandoned cave. In the course of suppressing them, King Long suffered fatal wounds and later died. But it happened about 800 years ago, and I didn't even know the Gadons were still alive. I swear to god, the sounds from my roommates. That means, maybe, some of them may still be roaming the Glacier Passage. And you are expecting me to go there? I beg you, the sea people have been weakened by our ranching, by our ranching lifestyle. By our ranching lifestyle. Jesus. Right now, you are the only one we know who can help us find the cause of the earthquake and temperature rise happening in the glacier area. Okay, fine. Thank you, human brother. Oh, and take this. It is my gift for you. Here, take the sea people necklace. Wear this and the two worms in the deep sea will retreat. You know, those strange worms that look like sticks. <laughs> That's it for now. You must be tired. Have a good rest and meet me tomorrow. I will tell Suom to guide you to the entrance of the glacier passage. <sighs> okay. That was good. That was that was a good good um bit of episode. I'm going to call it here. Uh, not for the episode. The episode isn't done, we haven't really done much. But I am going to take a break. So, let's return to the boat. And, uh, save. And then I'm going to, um, going to go rest, probably eat breakfast, because it's morning for me right now. Okay. Um. What day is it? First. So, I will be back. Don't worry, the episode's not over, as you will see. Uh, and, uh, that's all for now. Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, and we are just going to get right back into episode 9 of Day of the Diver. We're going to do a little bit more this episode. We're probably only going to go for about 30 minutes more. Because I don't want to edit a 3 hour long video. Like, that's just not something I want to do right now. Our diving suit is at its, is at its max. Everything else costs so damn much. The cheapest thing is 5500 I think we're good. Um, there's one weed in the rice patch. Let's go there and pull the weed. Let's go to the boat. Okay. What does Cobra have in his shop today? Why not? Oh, we can sell this as well. Doesn't go for much though. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Oh, 
Always use some more copper ore. Maybe some agar. Sea urchin. Cooking pot. I gotta send the, uh, the staff we have. I'm sorry for that mic book, guys. I gotta send the staff we have out to find curry. Kill, but you know, whatever. Japanese sword. Can I use it on you? No, I can't.
soy sauce. Alright, I have just realized I've been very quiet. I am sorry guys, I've had a day. Um, uh, today's my therapy day as I'm recording this, and it's not even that the therapy was hard, it's just my ride took forever to get there after therapy, and it pissed me off. Hey, I got an enhancement kit, hell yeah. So I'm a little distracted by that. Oh great, an electric gray eel, not eel, an electric gray thing. Sorry, I'm sure you guys can hear that. That was an alarm, a, a timer that I have set. <laughs> it's fine. Oh no. Whoa, a strong earthquake all of a sudden? Mm. The earthquakes are becoming more frequent and intense. Mm -hmm. I should go check if Bancho Sushi is alright. Yeah, we'll do that. Ooh, I can make the tranquilizer triple axle. Hell yeah. I got a giraffe seahorse? Cool. Okay. Let's go to the sushi bar. I really hope Ancho Sushi is alright. I felt a big earthquake. Is your place okay? Mm. I took some measures against earthquakes after it crumbled last time, mm. but I'm not sure for how long it will withstand a series of strong earthquakes. Is everyone okay? Mm. Dr. Bacon! Mm. I was passing by and wanted to make sure you were alright. Mm. Well, it looks like everyone is okay. Mm. Okay, what about the sea people business? Is there any problem? Mm. The heat from the ground is slowly melting the ice of the Sea People village, mm -hmm. and many Sea People got sick because of that. Mm -hmm. To identify the cause, you need to go down to the glacial area that blocks the heat and investigate, but mm -hmm. there seems to be eerie monsters down there, and I don't feel safe. Mm -hmm. That sounds like trouble, Dave. Mm -hmm. According to the ancient records, Sea People are very susceptible to temperature change. Mm -hmm. You should go down to the glacial area ASAP to find out what's happening there. Mm -hmm. It would be honorable to sacrifice yourself for the Sea People, even if it means getting frozen. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Never mind, we can worry about that tomorrow. Say we feast and have a fun lucky time. Dr. Bacon is a, a character, isn't he? <laughs> uh, I need two more for the Atlantic Bonito Curry. Okay. 
cure. Strongest cures are pi. So let's dispatch them to obtain curry blocks. And then actually let's dispatch everyone else to Okay. Ooh. Hold on. Okay, so let's serve the wolf eel tail and marlin meat. We're not serving the curry. This obviously not. Let's serve the yellow and tuna steak. Selfish sushi. The frilled shark sushi. Long time porcupine. Okay. village tomorrow and see what needs doing. guys? Did you see that guys? I should ask. Oh, is it this time again? No? Is it this time now? The wind is always cool and nice at night. I'm sobering up now. The radar of the sea people detected something, but it's not from the water. Just how? in here. I'm receiving signals from this cave. This cave doesn't look like it was naturally formed. Worth an investigation. Enter the cave. Go indoors? Yeah. So. Mission completed. What a surprise. A mural in a place like this? Well, it's quite different from the murals of the sea people I saw in the sea. Let me examine it closely. A picture of the sea people and humans? Is this something that actually happened? Children of both humans and sea people. Are they hanging out together? The sea people are giving some shining fruit to humans, perhaps. Nope. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. Can't find Okay, and then the S looking one is in the middle. Bravo, the door's open. Looks dark and creepy, but a true archaeologist will never miss this kind of opportunity. Let's see what's inside. Oh my... I forgot how frickin' gruesome and graphic this is. This place. Look at all these bones and torture devices. I must first examine the mural in the back to find some clues. It looks like the humans collapsed after eating the fruit. I don't think the fruit is edible. Humans hunted the sea people. Looks like a lot of them were killed. So that's what happened, huh? Humans could live in harmony with the sea people were it not for small misunderstandings. Let's first bring this artifact for further research. Wow, this looks like some sort of breathing apparatus. Maybe a sea people device made for humans? What's that noise outside? <gasps> Pirates! What? Who is that? Why is he here? Pirates, what are they doing here? Raiding? Back to the boat! This is our turf. Give us whatever you have right now. They won't let us go easily if we stop now. Let's get away as far as we can. Okay. Now we need to control the boat and escape the pirates. They're just, I love how they're just throwing tantrums in the water. They're like toddlers. Whew, I almost fainted. I must take the sea people breathing apparatus for further study. Alright. Tenzin told me to talk to Suom at the village. Mm -hmm. I should check if there are any tasks for me, then head to the Sea People village. Army report is available. Hold on. Two weeds in the rice paddy. Nothing available for harvest yet.
know if those will be ready by the time... By the time we, uh... Get to the VIP day thing. So I don't think they will be. Yep, Glacial Passage Fish. It's that time. You know what? I think I'm gonna call it here, guys. We've done a little bit more. We've seen a little bit more story. And I think if we did the Glacial Passage thing, this would just be way too long an episode. So, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to upgrade our, our oxygen and call it here for the day. As usual, I absolutely enjoyed playing with you guys. I love this game, I love showing you this game, and uh, I can't wait to have you guys see this. Um, this is Semp Eternity, signing off.